Good morning, my name is Asim Kumar Tripathi. Uh, I work as Director of Transfusion Medicine at Medantara Medicity Hospital Blood Center. Uh, I'll be talking about uh, the safety aspect of uh, blood. So every blood center or the blood transfusion services have the responsibility of ensuring that uh, you know there is adequate and safe blood. Uh, and when we talk of blood safety, there are three important uh, aspects of blood safety. One is of course careful donor selection from the uh, low risk population. Uh, the second is adequate testing by best of the kits available. And the third is judicious use of blood in the patients. Uh, and uh, the testing which is the most important uh, of these three aspects uh, uh, is one that is mandatory of course. So in India the testing for HIV, FB, FC, malaria and syphilis is mandatory and uh, usually the protocol is either using an ELISA or a hemiluminescence uh, but there are centers which also have an additional layer of safety uh, in form of uh, nucleic acid amplification technology and this uh, NAT or nucleic, nucleic uh, acid amplification technology reduces the window period so the time from uh, when the donor gets the infection and from the time it shows up uh, in the blood test uh, that is a window period and that window period is uh, reduced to a very remarkable extent uh, when we use NAT testing. Uh, the NAT testing is used by almost uh, 10 to 15 percent of blood centers in the country now uh, and I hope that uh, that number increases and uh, you know hopefully someday it becomes uh, universal. Uh, so every blood center tests not just by ELISA but uh, a two-tier testing where ELISA is also done. Uh, and then that is also done to ensure that the uh, safest possible blood is uh, you know given and provided to all the patients uh, who need it. Uh, there are two more aspects uh, of uh, testing uh, which are pertinent. Uh, one of them is that India is also uh, you know supposedly a center where patients would come from various parts of the world you know and therefore the uh, every in the all the medical facilities including blood testing has to be at par with uh, best in the world so if the rest of the world is doing that if the western countries and uh, europe and us everybody is doing that testing uh, then uh, you know it has to be at the same uh, level india has to you know match those levels uh, to ensure that we have uh, that medical tourism and we have patients coming from the other parts of the world and receiving the uh, treatment uh, which is at par with the with rest of the world uh, and the second aspect is also the regulatory aspect or the legal aspect so there have been a lot of uh, you know issues uh, where uh, you know the uh, allegedly the uh, there was an infection which was transmitted through blood uh, of course there can it can never be a zero risk uh, but uh, you know it is always good that the risk is as uh, close to zero as possible uh, and this is only possible when we uh, do that testing in addition to the uh, ELISA or Camelon testing that we routinely do. Uh, one of the challenges of uh, NAT testing is the, the cost uh, which is associated with the testing uh, and uh, there is a very good uh, way of overcoming that and which has been used successfully even in India in certain uh, places uh, like uh, earlier in the state of uh, Karnataka uh, is what is called as a hub and spoke model. So there would be multiple blood centers which would send the sample to the hub, uh, the central uh, medical college uh, in Bangalore uh, where the entire testing would be uh, conducted uh, and the results in turn would be sent back to the uh, individual blood centers and uh, uh, depending on those uh, results the uh, units can either be used or discarded. So this is uh, a very good method of bringing down the cost and centralizing the testing. Uh, and uh, even in the other parts of the world, the testing is centralized. So there are large uh, laboratories which do uh, many, many hundreds and thousands of samples. Uh, and they have uh, robotic machines to do that testing and uh, it ensures that the cost is low and the testing is standardized across uh, all the all the centers which uh, eventually would be the users of those uh, blood units. So this is what I wanted to talk about the uh, 
the safety aspect uh, with emphasis on the uh, additional layer of testing which is the NAT testing. Uh, thank you.